Hi guys, Ryu here with another Blender Tooth for Hard Ups, and today we're gonna talk about Curve Extract. Initially, Curve Extract was thought out to be a tool to create pipes with ease, because creating pipes, if you know how to create pipes in Blender, with curves, etc., you know how many steps it takes and how cumbersome it is, right? But Curve Extract is making it into a joke, um, so it's really it's just so good so what i all you need to do right is select an edge i'm laughing because it's just my favorite tool and you press q and you get a pipe i mean but wait for it it gets better now you can change profile with one two three or just scroll them with your wheel if i press f i can create something like this okay want to fly now let's say that i'm going to bring this in here and you know this is a curve right but I can swap it to mesh and then I can go back to my uh, curve extract and make it into a plating so yeah uh, that's in you know that's in seconds right so let's go back to curve and let's say we want to smooth it out I'm gonna press 1 to add some subdivisions press S to smooth it out and it's still not really perfectly smooth so I can just click ctrl 1 to add more subdivisions or ctrl 2 and there's my pipe right now check this out, if I go to uh, Ctrl A and Visual Geometry to Mesh, I can also create piping from this one. So I'm going to just shift click on Curve Extract, now I have my pipe. And you know this will work on any curved surface, right? Well, let's grab this edge, right? rip it off and uh, make it into its own, uh, own object. Let's bring it to local mode. Um, and add some extrusions, right? Uh, let's apply the scale and go to vert and select these and go to Q, control click on mark, press 2. Now let's add some bevel, right? Now we have this. So this would work on um, this would work on uh, on any curved on any curved pipe. So again, one S, Control one and see, I still have this original edge because it's extracting from the edge. So, you know, I have the pipe, but I can always fall back on something that's in here. I can create another pipe inside of it, right? So I could go again here to Curve Extract and make a new pipe if I wanted to, right? And, you know, I can convert this to mesh and then grab... Um, click on shift curve extract now I have my pipe you see it's just so easy but there is more check this out so let's say I have um, I have a curve right and I'm gonna create this curve plus s to smooth it out this is still a curve which means if I wanted to for instance you know adjust um, I don't know a flow of this curve it would be quite difficult right you know to move it correct but the thing is, if I press Q and start extracting it and press X, it's going to revert back to just a curve. Now if I go back to Visual to Mesh, you can see I got my verts back. So I can select all these verts here and press Shift 1. Shift 1. Shift 1, by the way, is from uh, Machine Tools. It merges all the verts in the middle. Right? And I got this, so now I can go and reshape this, you know, whichever way I want, right? Now grab these verts again, Q, Control, click on Mark, press 2 to bevel it, right? And I got this, and go back to my operations and curve extract, and there's my curve. I mean, it should be legal. The paneling uh, works with... Um, Paneling works with every single type of uh, geometry, so you know, like you have faces, let's say, um, you know, you have two faces like this, and you want to make a panel out of it. You don't have to go Shift D and you know, um, make it into its own object and all this malarkey. You just go to Shift Click and you're done. And this will behave exactly like Solidify. So if I revert this, right? Look at um, um, look at the behavior of the Solidify. So Q, shift click, and then if I press one, it's on. Um, 
is solidifying outside, two inside and outside, three on the inside, right? If I press R, it will remove the rim inside. So it, it behaves exactly like solidify. It's extremely powerful for creating some sci-fi designs, right? And this is still solidified, so you know, I can do all kinds of stuff like this, right? Of course, shade it smooth. I mean, come on. So with, you know, let's let's apply this, okay? So um, smart apply. And let's grab this edge here. With the curve extract, you can create, for example, um, some sort of, you know, like piping or like, um, um, like seals around windows or doors or washers and, and so on with ease. Because all you need to do is simply extract it and, and you're done. I mean, it's that easy. And if you want to fix bevels, you know, you can always, you can always um, uh, revert to um, revert to mesh. So uh, control A, revert to mesh, grab these two, and you could actually use mark for it too. So because it will work on any uh, flat 2D surface, right? And then go back to your curve. I mean, yeah, enough said. So let's bring this cube to local. Let's apply a bevel, right? Let's apply some cutters uh, with it. So, come on. One, two, maybe. And let's sort of mirror it and apply weighted normals, okay? So now we have this. Maybe one more, one more here. Right, so I got how many modifiers here? Um, five, right? So bull, 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 bever, and hard, and uh, mirror, or um, oh wait, six, and weighted normals. So I got six modifier going on. Now, if I press Shift D, I have all these modifiers still active, right? Now, if I go to um, Curve Extract, you can see there is a Control Click Extract. Now, if you compare the modifier stack, it's exactly the same except for Weighted Normals. So it grabs everything except for Weighted Normals. I struggle to find out a way to use it in practice because you see, if I wanted to extract it like this, right, I would just, uh, instead of using this tool, right, I would simply use Smart Apply. Uh, because Smart Apply with Shift will allow me to duplicate this object and I will get bevels uh, removed, you know, and weighted normals removed and booleans applied. So all my modifiers are gone. Granted, I don't get the shape, but if I wanted just a shape, I could go just to you know to shape and this is my my just plain box of the same shape as this i don't see a practical use of this um but maybe i'm missing something or maybe something is new coming to this tool and it's gonna be expanded on okay let's talk about now something really um psychedelic so if i go to um, click on this cube and go to curve extract i will extract every single edge now let's bring it to a local mode so you can see better. And if I press V and sort of cycle, I can cycle between different types of, uh, well, um, spline types, yeah? So different arrangement of, of the splines. It's kind of freaky what you can do with it. So, you know, if you want some neon-like shape for some reason, or a cage made of wires, this could be a way to, you know, quickly do this for some sketching because um, the shading is going to be an issue, right? I mean, you know, the intersection is going to be quite, uh, quite ugly, right? They, they're not, you know, they're not perfect, especially the uh, 90 degrees angles. So, but, you know, it's there if you need it. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your time. Drop us a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the vid and I'll talk to you in the next one.